Hello Rachel, it's Kevin. Um, I thought it would be easier to show you on a video what's happening with these search terms up here and, and how you improve them so you get better results. Uh, if you go into the Magento admin, you've got uh, reports um, search terms there so you can see what's going on. Uh, it shows you how many times, those hits is how many times someone has put that term in. So. 14 times someone has put cotton webbing in and it should give you back two results to test that out cotton webbing search yeah there you go and there's the two results it's come up with so that's that's how you can see more than the top five search result terms there it goes on you can change the page number as well um, and you can also export it to excel and csv when you do that it creates a search.xml file and you just download that to your desktop. Here's one I did earlier. You go file, open, and then you just go to wherever you downloaded it from. Uh, yeah, search. And then that opens it up in Excel and you can you can um, do all sorts of you know things to find out what's going on there. So you can just show the top ones that have come up with naught results, which is Lang Marino 150 and Fuller and Apron and things like that, that that people have searched for quite a lot, but those terms haven't come up. So that's how you do that. Um, that's how you find out what people have been searching for. Uh, no, go away. Um, uh, so that's, that's how you find out what people have been searching for. If you've got uh, a load of new products that you've uploaded and they're not appearing in the search terms you just need to go to this cache management here and then down the bottom of this cache management it says search index rebuild just hit that and it reloads it uh, and that should um, load all the kind of new product names or the or if you've added some new item and it's not appearing in your searches it should add it it should add it to the list then um, if you've got a cinnamon uh, cinnamon uh, synonym such as like yeah uh, there was pink pinking shears was returning result because you've got pinking shears um, thing on here pinking shears comes back with your pinking shears there and then I noticed that someone had searched for pinking fabric shears and nothing was coming up at the time I've since changed that all I did was I went into uh, your products manage products pinking shears and loaded that product up and then in the meta information on the left there, you click on that, and then you just add those those um, uh, keywords there. So you could you could add another one. Not, not that it makes any sense, but hot dogs say, um, and hit that. And I think now if you go back here, you know, hot dogs, it should. come up with pink and shears so anyway I'll take that off because you don't want hot dogs on there but that's that's the way it works for individual products if you've got other names for them um, you just you just want to add it into those meta keywords then and they should start to appear in the um, in the search results if you've got a cinnamon uh, the synonym that goes over a whole load of products I say um, I think actually you might have already added it, but press fasteners, fasteners, and snap fasteners are the same thing. And under catalog search here, you've got your press fasteners there, and you've done that as a synonym for snap fasteners. So I assume you've already sussed that out. But um, some other things like shears, you probably uh, want to create a synonym for um, shears to scissors or the other way around, so that when someone searches for the term scissors it knows it's the same thing as shears. Um, but anyway,
anyway, that's, that's, that's how you do it over a big group of products. Um, category search term. So you've got here, if you look under your books, there you've obviously got a lot of different sewing patterns and books in here. What you can do is if you search for books up in the search box, it only comes back with those two books there, which is no good. So what I would do is go back into here and under search terms, you, um, let's get rid of that search query. Let's just check there's nothing already in there, books. something already there. Um, you click on that and you can basically say when that books comes up redirect it to a URL so it will just take it to that category books and patterns this time. So we'll take that And now when we search for books, it should take us to the books and patterns page. So you might want to do that for a whole load of things um, that are in a big group or, or you want to go specifically to a category. So all this wool, ribbon and trims, buttons, I don't know what happens when you do buttons, it's probably not too bad actually. Um, yeah, that may already be in there as a search term. So you 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 probably want to add them in there. Um, and I think I think that's about it. Give me a ring if you've got any problems. All right. Cheers. Bye.